Hello everyone, welcome to a foreign army in the Philippines. As you can see, I'm down here on what has become known as the plateau area. So, the owner of <coughs> this property here, where the fence is, tr is transgressing, is uh, back in the United States. And so, but he does have another a foreigner here uh, who I know uh, acting as his caretaker, his representative and I was able to uh, get a hold of him and then he got a hold of the owner and <coughs> explained the situation you now we were made we, mer we, we were made a, a cash offer on just this portion you know, I never even had faced this off. Let's see. One, so it's nine steps. So that's about seven meters. Uh, and the other Mahone is probably in a straight line. The, the other, there's more to this crew that are here. Probably in a straight line is back that way. So... The, this lot angles this way and so they don't need to remove all of this fence because part of it is on his property so what they're going to do is begin on this end that's what we've discussed and just start taking the fence down and when they can stretch a rope from one Mahone to the other then then they've gone back that way far enough so the new buyer, prospective buyer, did not want to uh, sell this portion. Uh, we were uh, made an offer, um, a fairly generous one, um, but the new owner wants this as surveyed, and so the fence comes down. And I don't know what their timetable is, how long it'll take them. A uh, couple days, probably, but uh, problem solved without any uh, without any large amounts of drama. It could have gotten uh, well. You know, this is the easy way, and we wouldn't would not have wanted to do it the hard way. So this is uh, no raised voices, no drama. Um, was pretty much, uh, please take your fence down, or we'd have to do something else. And uh, as it turns out, we won't have to do the something else. So they're down there doing kind of a rough, rough estimate on uh, how much of the fence they'll have to remove. I'm guessing about maybe 100 feet, like 30 meters, somewhere in there, that will have to be uh, relocated, let's say, because I think the plan is to just uh, disassemble it and, and uh, put it back up uh, within his surveyed property lines. But I don't know. They are going to, it is wet in there. I think the reason, all, uh, all things being said, is that I think the reason that this fence was put here is that it was a nice dry place to work because as the property line goes, this fence is going to be going through about, I don't know, anywhere between ankle deep water to calf deep water because this field, uh, so the, the border of the field that's over there, you know, this this is a higher place here, and the actual fence is going to have to go kind of in the middle of that field, in a, in, in, a, in the middle of the portion of that field. And I think the reason that he put this fence up here is that uh, it made it, it it allowed all of that field to be encompassed inside his fence. Great for him, but uh, uh, still. Not on the property.
Okay, next day. So the guys have begun to take the fence down. This is the uh, the Mahone here. So they've made a they've made a bra uh, a break back there. This so they've put sticks here. Uh, we donated some. Uh, uh, some of these poles like this here from what had been cleared on the on the plateau side and so this is the property line here <coughs> you can see that they they match up with this Mahone here so you can pretty clearly see now uh, that this lot is angled and um, this fence was just put up on the bank there um, for whatever reason. I mean, I have a few theories um, just to square off this uh, field here and to have the fence up out of the water because, as you can see, that's kind of a bog right there. This is an old rice field here. It's tiered. This is the bottom portion, and there's a there's a higher portion there and so they're on their way to uh, getting it cleared out there's it's not an easy task this is so there's there's barbed wire there's chicken wire there's metal roofing there's some really intense uh, netting here. This is like 90% shade net. Um, I don't know, there's four guys here. They might get this done today. We, we shall see. And so this gives you a little bit different perspective here. So this is a piece of nylon that they've strung from that Mahone, which is right back there. So I probably have to remove this pole here as well. Yeah. And that's the that's the line of posts going down that way. Yeah, it makes kind of a strange layout, but I'm not the one that originally surveyed this. It's not for me to say where the lines are, the property lines, or where the property lines are. It is what it is. So this is about, I don't know, it's close to a hundred feet that they're having to take down here. That's just a guess. But I'm usually pretty good at guessing distance. Between 80 and 100. So you can see how deep that water is there. As far as I know, the neighbor never had ducks, but this would have been a good little field for ducks because it's about, yeah, like I said, about calf deep and it's all the way back to those bananas back in there.
but there were never any ducks in here as far as I know. And this, I mean, during the dry spell, during the drought, there was no water standing right here. But nine months out of the year, there's standing water in this field. And uh, there's another reason why we put in this uh, drainage here um, so low as we did, much lower than the road here, so that it would facilitate drainage of that field. And so you can see, you know, we, we had a curb uh, all the way up there to divert water. Uh, it was never that effective because it was put in, you know, we were, we were building on sand, but all that, all that, uh, area of the plateau is a gentle slope until it gets to here. And then it's a pretty steep slope. So all that, and there's probably, I don't know, there's at least 3,000 uh, square meters there. That That's the drainage. And it all ends up down in this field. And it has to go somewhere. And so that's why we put in this uh, canal here. And all the, you know, it's also a gentle slope going back up to basically the Barangay Road. So all that uh, also drains into this field. This is the low part of this property. And so all this watershed comes into here and everything from uh, the neighbor's property drains into here. <coughs> All right, well, it's lunch break, so let's see what these guys got down here. Wow. They've got it down, and they've got it moved and back up and in place. That's pretty amazing. It looks like they just reassembled it from... Uh, where it was, I mean, I mean, how it was. They did a lot in half a day. So you can see the, the kind of pie-shaped wedge here. <laughs> you know, if it was me, I would have taken the offer that was that was put down for this little sliver here. I don't know, maybe this is 20 square meters, maybe 25, I don't even think, maybe 25, I don't know, somewhere in that range. Uh, it was a pretty generous offer for per square meter wise. But um, it is what it is. So the fence is down now and that's where it was supposed to be, so you can clearly see now why uh, one of the reasons, perhaps, the it wasn't put here uh, in the first place. Why it would be more desirable to have it up on the bank there, because that would that would get all the pond here, all the little mini pond here, uh, usable. But uh, the property line is the property line, it is what it is. I'm glad that they uh, got this done. They're probably pretty glad they got it done too. Alrighty, thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.